Well, this has been our dorm for the night, taking off. We're in the big city, it's a pretty nice view actually. Look at that. It's a little cold, but we got a good view. So we're gonna go on some adventures today. It is another beautiful day here in Iceland. Well, <laughs> cold, kinda. Beautiful day. It's, it's a cold, it's a, beautiful day. It's a cold day, very cold. And today, of course, I left my jacket in the hotel. But that's besides the point, we're going to a waterfall now. After that, we're hitting up a crater. We're actually climbing up a crater. And then we're going to this little place I like to call the Devil's Castle. This looks like as good of a point as any to cross. It might be cold though. I like the color of the water. It's like a frost blue Gatorade. Here we are at Niagara Falls. Oh wait, that's not Niagara Falls. It's almost worth it just for the back massage to jump in there. Yeah. I could flip a coin for you. All right. <laughs> These waterfalls actually remind me of the waterfalls at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's the same color as the ones we saw over the summer, and uh, just a lot colder. Fortunately, we've learned that puffins are not in the area at this time. It's too cold for them, I guess they flew out to sea, and uh, they only come back in for a short period of time to reproduce, so we missed our window of opportunity to see puffins, which is kind of sad. But this looks like a puffin spot. We can now check the waterfall of the gods off the list. We've been to where the gods fall. Right? That's what it is? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have just gotten to a spot that I've been looking forward to for a while. We're at a place called Dimiburger, which I'm probably saying really wrong, but it translates to dark cities or uh, dark castles. So this is known as Satan's Castle. So. I'm really excited to be here. It's very dark. It's very Halloween looking because the dark sand and then you have the orange trees right here. So if you look at this, it's very dark castle Mordor looking style. Historians say that this place was formed about 2,300 years ago when uh, one of the volcanoes here erupted and this was the black tarred land that was left after. But now we're just trying to find all the cool structures that look like um, a church and that is on the hardest path to go to. Nordic Christian legends say that Satan landed here when he was cast from hell and created the Helvetes Catacomber or the Catacombs of Hell and this is where he lived. And we're gonna find him today. We're on the search for Satan today. Whoa, this is a spot he would be, He's chilling. This is pretty cool. I could see Satan living here in this cave. Check this out. This is where like a phoenix or a dragon would live on this little spot. What if there is something that lives here and we're just here in the daytime while he's out hunting? We should wait till nighttime to see if he comes back. Freaking tight in here. Whoa. Is this his shelter when it rains? Ooh. These are the catacombs of hell. Satan's kingdom. Check that out. It's like Halloween town. This is Halloween. The dragon's nest? From the top. It's a top. It makes sense because that's where he would just fly up out of. 
anything myth mythical uh, in the world can be found here in Iceland. Couldn't imagine the devil would want to be here when it's so cold. He probably only comes here in the summer. summer tree. This is like a summer home. I am loving walking through this Mordor looking place. Everywhere you look, there's columns of black lava rock. What happened was the volcano erupted and then once the, uh, once the volcano hardened and cracked, all of this, all of these pillars and columns are what was left. So imagine the layer of lava and then it cracks and then this is what's left. And over time it just forms these, these massive mounds. This is like walking through a botanical garden, but so much darker. Like this is my kind of botanical garden. Look at that cave over there. <laughs> Caves everywhere. Caves. You can definitely tell something's been living in this cave. Look at this. All these bones here. Bones everywhere. There's something hiding in there. This is just so unreal being here. We finally made it. This is what we've been waiting for. Check that out. It's like a table or a devil's bed. <laughs> so guys, we have made it to the devil's castle. This is the church here uh, that's out in the very far part of uh, this place. It's been a lot of fun walking through here. It's very dark, it just started raining as well. So it's like a dark and gloomy day. It's pretty perfect for what we're trying to do, trying to find this place. It's uh, right now it's just a cave. It's not like there's actually anything in it. We just explore, there's some rocks and stuff that you saw, but nothing too spectacular. Mostly the entrance right here is the coolest part. That's what I wanted to see. And it only took me the drone to find it. <laughs> it was kind of hard to find, but we did it. Now we're moving on to go climb a crater. You ready to climb a crater? Yeah, let's go climb craters. All right, in the rain. Just got to the crater. Now we're trying to climb this. Uh, it's not as steep as I thought it would be, which is nice. Uh, it's a gradual increase, so hopefully it won't be too strenuous. We're gonna get to the top and see what's inside this thing. We did it! Whew. We got to the top. The devil dried it up. We've gotten to the very top of the crater, the highest point that you can get to. I think we've gotten so high up that it's actually starting to snow up here. It's snowing. Yeah. It's actually snowing up here, which is crazy. So, it's snowing at the top of the crater, and there's no lava in the morning. Or in the morning. <laughs> for days in the afternoon. There is no lava in the middle. In the morning, it's quite pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lava in the middle. That's what I meant to say. There's no lava in the middle. 
Um, <laughs> so there's no lava in the middle, which is what I was expecting. I was hoping to throw the ring uh, into the middle. It's not gonna happen. But it's snowing up here and it's getting cold. Cold and rainy and dark. Over here, you can actually see out in the distance, that's the smoke uh, from the, that's the steam from the hot springs that we actually went to yesterday. Right over there. And there's the mountains in the distance. We actually were just over there. It's probably like right there on the line. That's where Satan's uh, castle is. We were just there. So it's really not very far from this uh, crater. Volcanic rock, black sand part of it. The last crater I was at was Crater Lake. Totally different. Basically, it's just turned to freezing rain up here. It's like snowing. It's so cold. We have to head back down. My hands are freezing. They're numb. But, but it was. Well, damn. <laughs> it was a cool view, though. I'm glad we hiked up to the top. It, well worth it indeed. Let's head back down now get warm. All right, you guys, it is much later now. Blake and I have come to our hostel. We are in our hostel hallway because everyone is sleeping and it's like midnight. We just had a you now. Uh, if you don't follow me on you now, you should. Um, I'll have a link down below for that. Well, basically, it's a live chat. You can come hang out and do be a guest on it and you can video chat with us. But we were just live chatting and it's past midnight now. You can see it's very, <laughs> very dark and uh, everyone's asleep in this hostel. So we're heading out. I will see you guys tomorrow for more adventures, and peace out. <laughs> oh my god. Lava for days in the afternoon. There is no lava in the middle. <laughs> Morning, it's quite pleasant. <laughs> <laughs>